This is 10 News at 5 with Narelda Jacobs. Hello and welcome to 10 News. We begin with a riot at WA's only juvenile jail. Dozens of children escaped from their cells and started smashing windows and equipment. The damage is so extensive, more than 70 children have been transferred to an adult jail. Claire Grantham reports. 100 police officers called in to help control a riot emergency at Bankshire Hill Detention Centre. For up to three hours, 60 detainees went on a violent rampage, smashing windows and computers. Some got onto the roof, many armed with makeshift weapons. Initially started by three young people, more people then joined and before you know it, it very much spread. The worst incident in a juvenile corrective services ever in Western Australia. Authorities won't say exactly how the inmates got out or whether they gained access to keys, but say it wasn't out of control. Your commission said they were, they were running a muck on radio this morning. I think that's losing control. <coughs> Uh, let me say that when you're dealing with a uh, highly volatile situation, it doesn't mean you lose control. They're clearly not in control of the prison. It's understood it got so out of control, the 56 staff members working at the facility were forced to barricade themselves in the staff room. The centre currently houses 206 detainees aged between 12 and 18. The recent riot sparking renewed calls for tighter security and increased staff. Just over six months ago, two inmates are escaped from the facility after stealing a car and smashing their way out. This could have been prevented had the government made better decisions. 73 inmates have been moved to the adult Hakia prison while damaged cells are repaired. They are being held separately to older prisoners. In anything but the most extreme of circumstances, you would not place juvenile offenders in an adult prison, and that is what has occurred. The state government has ordered an independent inquiry into the riot. Claire Grantham, 10 News.